Hi, Kids Gig friends. It's Sarah, and I'm so glad to see you, Savitri, Murphy, and anybody who's joining us today. I wanted to show you something from last week before we get started with this week. Do you remember that we planted our plants? Well, I planted a pea from my garden. Um, it came out of one of the, my dry pea pods because peas are seeds and I put it in my Dixie cup. You saw me do this and now it's growing. So I thought I'd share with you how this little pea plant is sprouting. So I worked with God a little bit by taking the seed and putting it in the soil and God took care of the rest. Uh, well, I also watered it because it's indoors. But if we're outdoors, God would have brought the rain like he has this week to our neighborhood. So today, speaking of rain, we're going to talk about Noah's Ark. And I'm sure you've heard the story before, but one of the big things in Noah's Ark is that Noah brought animals two by two to repopulate the earth or make more animals after the flood. So let's learn to praise like, like an animal and then figure out how we praise or thank God. Um, so horses, how do horses go? Horses go nay. Okay. And cows, how do cows go? Moo. And how do ducks go? Quack, quack, quack. They probably praise and waddle too. Quack, 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 quack. Can you praise and waddle? Quack, quack, quack. Roosters, has anyone ever seen a rooster? Well, you know the chickens cluck, but roosters go cock a doodle or something that sounds like that. And they stand up very proud and they strut around the farm as though they own the place. Well, really God owns the place, but roosters praise by strutting. Puppies, like you can see mine, I think down here, they usually praise by barking and playing, but I think because it's raining, Oakley's praising by sleeping and resting, and that's a way of praising too. But animals make all that noise, so let's try a little praise and prayer. Horses neigh and toss their heads, and cows will sing out moo. Speckled ducks quack and, and quack their thanks, just as God made them to do. Roosters crow, cock-a-doodle-doo, and strut their stuff, and puppies roof, bark, and play. Animals make all this noise. How do you praise today? Well, sometimes I praise by singing, or running around outside with joy and happiness at this body that God gave me to move and to live. And sometimes it's just to, to breathe. Let's find our praying and maybe our praising positions and come together for just a moment before we read Noah's Ark. So, Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Lord God, for creating us and for bringing the rains. Thank you for the animals, nature, the food, and all the good things you've given us. And thank you for our families, Lord God. Thank you. Be with us today. Keep us safe. Let us learn and grow together. Let us have a good time praising and praying. Amen. All right, let's read Noah's Ark. I will show you the story and you can look as well in your book if you have one. Noah. There's Noah. Let's see if we can get all that in so that you can see it. There we go. One day long, long ago, God looked down on the world and saw that almost all the people were mean and bad. God felt sad and sorry that he'd ever created people, so God decided to send a flood to wash away all the bad things on earth. But one man loved God and did what was right. His name was Noah. God told Noah to build an ark so his family would be safe during the flood. And you can see how God's listen, God, Noah is listening to God. 
Maybe he's listening silently. Maybe he's praying quietly. What did he tell him to build? An ark right there. God told Noah just how to build the ark. It was a huge boat big enough to hold Noah's family and two of every animal on earth that walks, creeps, crawls, or flies. Noah and his sons built the ark with three decks and different rooms on each deck. So Noah's family and all the animals would have a place to stay. Tap, tap, bangity, bang, boom. Noah and his sons worked hard every day. And every day the ark grew larger. Noah's neighbors must have wondered why he was building such a big boat. Then when the ark was almost finished, Noah's family began gathering food. They needed stacks and stacks and stacks of food to feed themselves and all the animals. Because they didn't know how long they were going to be in the ark. They just had faith that God was telling them to do something good. And then they brought the animals to the ark. Look at how excited Noah is about this. It is exciting. Can you imagine seeing all those animals coming to you? After months and months of hard work, Noah finished the ark. Then God said, go into the ark, you and your whole family. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth. It will rain 40 days and 40 nights. So Noah and his family hurried to finish packing. Then God did something wonderful. Way off in the distance, Noah could see the animals coming. A huge, long line of animals. God sent the animals to Noah two by two, and Noah loaded them onto the ark. When everyone was safely on board, the ark, or the ark God shut the door. Hmm, God shut the door. Remember those three decks they built? Wow, look at this. That's a lot of animals. Which animals are your favorites? Which animals live around here? I see an eagle and maybe we see horses. We don't see elephants around here, but maybe, maybe a bear. We know they live in the mountains. Sometimes I see flamingos in people's yards. Plop, plippity, plop. The first big raindrop splashed onto the roof of the ark. Then the rain came harder and faster. The wind howled, the rain pounded, and giant crashes of thunder rocked the ark as flashes of lightning tore across the sky. I see the lightning. Ooh. It's always strange. Sometimes we get lightning. The water rose higher and higher, and the ark began to float. The water kept rising until one day the tips of only the tips of the mountains showed. Then they too were swallowed by the flood, but inside the ark everyone was safe and dry. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, God watched over Noah and his family and all the animals on the ark. You see, they brought a lot of food to feed the animals and themselves. They listened to God and took care. And then what happened? Oh, you see God's surprise first. Well, one day the flood waters started to go down. Then kerthunk, the ark bumped against a mountainside, and there it came to rest. When the flood water disappeared and the trees and plants began to grow again, Noah knew it was time to leave the ark. He opened the heavy door and all the animals and people came pouring out. Noah built an altar to thank God for keeping his family safe during the flood. Then God put a shimmering rainbow in the sky as a promise never again to destroy the earth with a flood. And that was only one of the times God saved us. God made a covenant with us to love us and protect us. And... We're going to work on our own rainbow and our own promises today. So let's do that. Today, I have a little activity for you. It's a pretty cool craft. We're going to make a pair of helping hands. These are my hands. I'll bet yours are smaller. But no matter what size your hands are, they can be helpful and loving and they can be Praising. So today we're going to need 
some paper or cardstock. We're going to need some markers or crayons, or colored pencils. We have a lot of flexibility here. So whatever you have at home will work just fine. I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock. I'm gonna use my markers. I've got some string, any type of string will work. I've got my safety scissors. I'm gonna need a pencil, but you don't have to use a pencil. You can just use markers or crayons as long as you're um, careful tracing around your hand. And you can use a hole punch. I only have a three ring hole punch, so I'll make do with that. Okay, let's look and see. All right, so to make my hands, I'm going to trace them. And I'm gonna do mine in, I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I'm gonna let you take some time to do it on your own, to give it a shot. All right, so this is my one hand. And that's my left hand. I am right-handed. So that was pretty easy for me to trace. And this is my right hand that I'm tracing with my left hand. And you can see my two big hands. Now I'm going to color these in and then I will cut them out with my scissors and punch a hole in them. And you can have a parent help you do that. I just put my paper in there to punch it and do some coloring. So you're welcome to watch as I do this or you're welcome to pause it or and get started on your own. Okay, here we go. Well, kids, gig friends, I don't know about you, but it felt really nice for me to make a rainbow today on a rainy day and to really think about Noah and um, how well he listened to God and how God made a covenant with us never to flood the earth again and to take care of us. And he made the same, um, well, same but different. He, he helped and saved us once again. When, when Jesus came, that was our rescue plan. So we have all kinds of reasons to be grateful and thank God, no matter what else is happening. Today, maybe you can help out others by making your own covenant and hanging your hands on a door, uh, a doorknob or uh, somewhere in a room where you're willing to be helpful. Maybe it's on your own bedroom door where you can clean your room, or maybe it's in the kitchen on a cupboard door safe uh, from water and heat from the stove and uh, to show someone you're willing to help cook or clean or 
whatever uh, is your way of praising, just like everything was made to praise, so were we. Let's close with a little prayer and I am gonna get ready for this long winter of rain and maybe shorter days and snow by making myself an ark. Hold on. I just got all my blankets and I'm going to batten down the hatches or close the windows and doors in case of uh, cold and rain and know that God, like the ark, like all my blankets, is going to keep me warm and um, make me feel surrounded by love. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day and for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you for your covenant with us. Thank you for, for Noah and what he did. And Lord God, above all, thank you for your son um, who saved us. God, be with us this week. Keep us safe, healthy, and find ways to praise like the animals, the plants, and everything that you made. Amen. Take care, kids, gig friends. Stay dry and have fun. I'll see you next week.